Since stages in IDPA are time-based, you never want to have a standing reload. A standing reload is simply that. You're, you're standing in one spot, reloading, and doing nothing else other than burning time. You never want that to happen. You always want your reload to occur while you're doing something else. You're moving from place to place. Whatever it is, you're doing something that you would have to do anyway, so doing the reload while you're doing that is wasting no extra time. The problem in IDPA, of course, is that you only have two types of reloads you can do. You can either do a tactical reload, or you can do an emergency reload, where the gun, you've shot the thing completely empty, and then you have to reload. Tactical reloads take longer, and so in general, given a choice, we'd much rather do an emergency reload, but to do that again, we have to run the gun dry. Luckily, we can actually sometimes make some choices about when exactly that's going to happen. On a recent stage of the Marksman IDPA match, you started by sitting in the chair, whereupon you could go to either side. So you'd pick a side, shoot there. After that, you had a choice. You could, if you wanted, do a tactical reload as you moved around up range of wall one, head completely to the other side, and then go to the middle and finish the stage. Most people didn't do that, though. Instead, they picked one side, shot the three targets there, went up to the center, shot the other two, and then went back to the other side to hit the other three. Now, if they shot it all perfectly, what was going to happen is, if they had a 10-round gun, they'd shoot their 10 rounds, go back to that last position, shoot one round, and have a standing reload, which is really not the way to do this. Instead, what you want to do is sometime in that first two arrays, in the first ten shots that you have to do, you take an extra shot. Okay? You don't want to take more than one extra shot because then you have a standing reload earlier. But if you go to that first position, shoot six, go to the second position, and shoot five, you will then be empty. And so you can do your emergency reload as you head to the last position. In other words, you're doing the reload as you're moving anyway, so you're not wasting any extra time. Once you're in that last position, you have plenty of rounds and can finish off the entire stage. No standing reloads and no wasted time. Here's my run at that stage. As you'll be able to see, I shoot 11 rounds, shooting 5 in that middle position, so that I can reload as I move to the end. I'm not quite finished with my emergency reload by the time I get to the end, but nonetheless, again, I don't have a standing reload here, which means I can finish the entire thing and not have any standing reloads or wasted time. It makes a difference.